Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mac McCandlish, and I'm drafting a Innistrad 8-4. We got a lot of things. We got a lot of uncommons, like five uncommons and a cool rare land. I've never seen five uncommons before, but I guess one's a foil and one's a cool transforming dude. I'm tending, I'm thinking Civilized, uh, civilized Scholar, I also like Grasp of Phantoms, I like this card, I like this card, I like most of these cards. Civilized Scholar is nice though, this guy's very nice, this is very nice, but this rocks more games, this can rock the late game, don't think we're getting anything here back, I'm afraid blue might get cut because... Aside from some green, there's nothing else exciting going on in this pack. Um, I don't think that was a horrible pick in any case. They were all great. They were all great choices. I had to take one. Um, I'm, if I'm going to be blue, I'd rather be here than jumping into red for that guy. Uh, Bonds of Faith is definitely a consideration, and this guy is a huge consideration. Um, blue's not feeling cut yet. White's feeling the most... White's feeling pretty open. Getting past this card is pretty big, big stuff, but somebody took a rare, I guess. So I will be on the lookout for white, I suppose. be open to the white, the signaling of the whiteness, because we're not getting much blue back from that pack, that's for sure. I'm seeing a pretty strong blue and decent white symbol signal. Um, I think I'm picking another scholar here. I like both these cards. I'd, I'd like this more depending on where my flyers end up, because you just win if you can keep it on somebody, pretty much. For very little mana, good for late game too. Um, but yeah, I don't see any reason not to. I mean, some black is looking open-ish. Like the, the the good black's getting taken, so maybe maybe not. Whereas the good blue is still here, so that's cool. Okay, decisions, decisions. Haunt or Juggernaut or Ashmouth. Or to some degree, Typhoid Rats and Doom Traveler, but I think this is really a choice. Do we want to jump into white? Because white has very much openness. Juggernaut is cool. Nothing I have yet is making things die. Juggernaut in the right deck is great. I don't know if that deck is what is coming to me. Um, I kind of want to play with this, and it's a good white card, and it cuts white a bit if white's where I want to be, and I think I'd rather be white-blue than red-blue. That could be wrong. Might get a spirit thing going. Maybe it's premature to say. But yeah, I think, well, I mean, I, I don't, yeah, I don't want to deal with this guy. He's big and slow and big, which is fine. Here it's a question of Smite the Monstrous, I think is the... It's not really that much of a question. I think it's obviously Smite the Monstrous. Um, it's very easy to lose to things that aren't monstrous, but... Um, I like to be prepared for monsters. We've got a decent black card coming around late. Inlay Dagger on a Midnight Haunting can be very effective. I don't know if it's a little early for the dagger. Because this is a fairly late good vampire dude. And the blue... Well, who knows how good the blue was in this pack, but... Um... I kind of want to speculate in this to this direction. Obviously green is open, but nobody likes green. So, it's fine for green to be open. It's not a real color. Uh, this is definitely good. Gets my Stitch Drake in the air faster. That seems a little slow for draft. 
I wouldn't mind having this, but I'm not going to take it over the 2-3 creature for 3. I, know, I wouldn't normally want it, but being in the right color makes it more attractive. Okay, now we're definitely out of anything I could possibly be interested in. Unless I end up going Burning Vengeance or something. Could be blue-black zombies at some point, so might as well take this. Although, this is a decent card. I don't want to be green. You guys can keep sending me the green, I'm just going to keep ignoring it. <laughs> yeah, you're a powerful uncommon. Um, I like the unruly mob more than the crab. I think that's a fair choice. So the, the blue-white flexibility is helping me there. At least for that pick. This card can really mess up blue. Whereas this one I'm not as excited about. So take up the take away the mess me up card. Pretty late typhoid rats. I can't really stop somebody from getting a curse of oblivion, so I could see this getting played in some extreme cases. Somebody's going to kinder catch the hell out of me, I suppose. But that's what happens sometimes. So, not... Not crazy excited about that first pack. Much more excited about the second pack. Um, I guess now we'll be looking for... Uh, more instants and sorceries. This is my third Snapcaster Mage I picked up in draft, and I got him in my really sealed. He loves me! He really loves me! Um, we'll be looking to get one of these cards back, I think. And if not, we can do the Village for Bell Ringer. Or, yeah, this probably doesn't come back. Well, you never know. This is a really good pack. <laughs> This is not a bad pack. Um, I guess that seems fine. Let's hide black. I'm not really going to play black. Uh, so yeah, we're being pretty creature heavy. You know, I guess getting this back is kind of neat. It's cheap. It's likely to work. Oh, I love this card. Do I want to splash some red or get another stitched drake? <laughs> that is a good question. Definitely don't want harvest pyre. Oh, <sighs> Bripsto volley splashing red. Or continue to solidify blue flyers. Splash. I do. There's also the Demon Male Hauberk that gets things for the Stitch Drake. Like, but it, don't, it only. Eh. I mean, Unruly Mob probably likes it because I can make him bigger. Uh, I think I'm just gonna take the Drake here. I don't. Uh, Ripstone Volley is definitely good. Whereas Blazing Torch, I'm much more likely to take. I don't have to be weirdly colored. Tricolor Madness. Not seeing much blue and white, though, so that's gonna be bad. Perhaps. It seems like red is open in this direction. Burning Vengeance goes well with Snapcaster Mage, can't lie, but I don't think I'm going... Super spell heavy. Dissipate goes well with Snapcaster Mage, whereas Spectral Flight does not. Um, it's a little early for Dissipate, but I 
unless I'm getting into black hardcore well there's this guy and there's even this which could come around let's see we're getting four cards back one two three I might get this back four no this one one two three and then maybe oh then the land one two yeah we're not getting anything good back from this pack unfortunately Yeah, I'm still going to stay on target for color, I believe. Despite the slight red openings. Oh, good red. Good red, good red. And then we'd be able to do this thing. Which could be cool. I don't really like going hardcore. On the counter spelling. I like this guy, but it's a little early, even though I don't think we're going to get him back. I think I probably should have been taking some of those red cards and then taking Rally the Peasants here, or even Desperate Ravings, one or the other. <sighs> I think that would have been the slightly stronger deck, but cutting the blue pretty hard is fine. Moon Heron, ugh. We're going to get burnt to a crisp. Our civilized scholar is going to be useless. That's a late Geist Flame. Maybe my white is a splash and I should have been red. Uh, can't do it. Cannot. And burning vengeance again. Could be double burning vengeance if I remember correctly. Okay, look, I'm not taking spectral flight. I'll take the burning damn vengeance. Do we want this or this? To smite the monsters is, feels a little sideboardy. This is good against Juggernaut, which is floating around. This is good against big decks. Also good against Juggernaut. Okay, look. Take this silly thing. Mob or Bell Ringer. Don't know that I have the creature strength for this. It's a cool trick though. My creatures are weak though, except for Stitch Drake. Let's look at the costs. Hmm, maybe I should be doing that earlier. Eh. He kind of holds the ground well, though, for my air. My air is my stuff right now, I think. Definitely take the Hulberk. Could come in handy. Uh, a heavy flyer deck could potentially trepanate. You never know. Got back the cards I expected. Um, Caravan Vigil's more of a card than the others. Not really crazy about that card. Would have liked the other thing more. Huh. So, probably should have been blue-red with a little bit of white. Power level-wise, I think that was the was the deck. In retrospect, the, the red signals I was ignoring were too strong to ignore. It could have been burningly vengeant. With Snapcaster, with multiple Bernie spells going into my graveyard. Oh, thanks. 
I don't know that this is enough to jump into black for. Double black. Grr. This fits my theme. Claustrophobia fits my theme fine. I like building up Flyer Army, though. Let's see if it works out for me. That was a very, very black pack, I will say. The sad thing is, I built up an army of cards that are very weak to the cards I passed. Like, that curse really messes me up. <laughs> and then they get a witch for it. Oh my god. That's just wonderful. I think we do end up taking the Geist Flame here. Our way to beat this guy is we have to fly over and never touch that witch. And if he has a sacrifice ability, that's going to suck. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. This could be a cool 4 0 winner. It could come back. It's a little early. Where do we end up human wise? One, two, three, four, five, five humans. I think this pack will be good for us. We're gonna get something back. I mean, this is good, this is good, this is good. Green ain't getting much out of this pack. Having a nice one drop that makes my other dude, it gets bigger when my other humans come in. Crappy in the late game, but if he's in your first in your opening hand, he's worth the risk. So that was a good pack. Do I want to be double white or red? Would have been. We could have had a nice red thing going. I like this card with Snapcaster a lot, but I already got enough counter spells, I think. And he's just a decent dude. I wish he was a better type, since I didn't get any of the spirit buffing stuff. It's fine. I do kind of like this. Nothing super exciting going on that I want to bring back. I haven't even gotten a 5 drop. <laughs> this is a very strange deck. <laughs> I think I'm overreacting to a previous draft I lost where I got speed rolled by Blue White. Now I find myself coincidentally drafting the same deck. What? What a coincidence. So I don't even want this guy because I don't even have four drops to accelerate into. I guess this is my late game, bring, start bringing a bunch of creatures back, but it doesn't play well with the Stitch Drakes. I guess it does in the fact that the dead Stitch Drakes can come back with it. And you might as well have something in your six drop slot. Get another one of these guys. This one, not so exciting for me. I don't really see myself playing that. But I don't really see my... I mean, I could take this. Removal light. I guess that's fair. Hmm. This isn't even the original pack yet, and it's got good stuff. So we have some humans, and this guy's awesome. Plays well with the other human. One, two, three, four, five. Five humans. We want more humans more than we want. Oh, six humans. We want more humans, but... Yeah, 
I think we're going this way. That was a close one. Kind of got to take a creature over in equipment sometimes. I'm not super excited about any of this stuff. Guess we can take this to get our red card if we need it. The witch is still there, of course. I think we'll just take the peasants. Maybe we'll get to use it. Get another Doom Traveler. That's fine. Take that over the wooden stake. And... Foil. Might as well play with the foil instead. You are just an awful card, aren't you? Nobody loves you. Wow. Nobody loves green at all. <laughs> Last pick, Kinder Catch. Someday I'm going to build a Kinder Catch deck and I'm going to catch the children. Oh. So, I don't know if I've ever built a deck that has no fire drop. But... This is what this is my I'm gonna call this deck the three drop special. <laughs> Could have used that little human blue guy accelerator, I guess. That would have been convenient to have. What did I take over that? Something good, I hope. Passed a bunch of red that I shouldn't have passed. We'll consider burning vengeance. I'm not playing this. Probably playing this. Might as well put it in. I feel like we got the decent-ish, but not great. Uh, we did get one good equipment. White, you know? Decent, but not amazing or anything. Definitely some good blue. Room for one more, sir. Well, if we were going to play that red card, I think we'd want to play this. Especially since we can make a lot of creatures. And we can get a decent amount of flyers in the air, and then they can do some surprising extra damage. It's a potential win condition. Unfortunately, our stuff is cheap enough. How did we end up, in terms of Snapcaster Mage targets, we got this thing... And this doesn't really need it, but could actually do that too. Uh, we got this thing. That also doesn't need it. So not the most exciting world for the Snapcaster. I don't know that he's going to get to do super tricks. It's hardly type of deck that wants Burning Vengeance, given the mana types and the lack of instants and sorceries. Do we want to put in another instant? I'll pay attention to see if this is viable, but I don't think. It's not really my style, so... It's also the Trepanation Blade and the Demon Male Hauberk that we shouldn't forget about. And creatures do like to be sacrificed so Stitch Drake can get in the air. And so this guy can get bigger. I wish I had that transform white guy that turns into the Trampler. He would have been really good for this deck. That would have been nice. Especially with him. Oh, Yeah, Demon Male Hauberk goes really well with this guy. I think we gotta put this in. Is it better than the inlaid dagger? Probably. About rally the peasants. Rally the peasants is a little bit win more to me because I don't have tramplers.
Although I do like that Snapcaster enables me to do it without getting my red. One could potentially drop the red and just go more hardcore on the blue cards. But pinging for one and then potentially pinging again. Yeah, but you're not going to be able to ping for two unless you play two red. It also means I have to use this thing. So I'm doing a lot of work just to cast Geist Flame and recast Rally of Peasants, which is highly questionable. I think I might swap those things out. For the sake of smoothness, I'm going to try starting with the without the Geist Flame and the uh, Rally of the Peasants. I reserve the right to bring them back in if I feel like it. Uh, we can make some adjustments depending on what type of creatures we're fighting with these various cards. Um, if we're not fighting a blue I, player, I could see us putting this in in place of Inlaid Dagger, maybe. It's kind of expensive to get it going. Um... I'm kind of questioning using this, but my creatures are weak enough where I think turning one of their guys into a blocker is not a horrible idea. So we're taking that over over mana smoothness and having to put the ghost quarters in to find a a uh, uh, mountain. Oh, somebody's drafted M12. Didn't realize the new set's out, did they? Somebody should tell them. 